How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build more complex boat hulls so you can get even better uh, looking ships and uh, functioning ships for that matter. This is going to be a continuation from the other video um, and we're just going to be uh, ramping up the complexity for you guys uh, using the new blocks that came out uh, a while ago. So. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, now for this one, we're in a larger uh, harbor size building area just for ease uh, this time. And last time we started off by drawing out what looked like an arrow, which was something like this, where you would make the shape of it by just bringing your blocks out like this and uh, getting a nice shape which is, it works for what we're going to do however I find it a little bit easier to uh, do it this way so what you're going to do is you're going to take you can do this with regular blocks by doing this or you can just grab a wedge a uh, one by one wedge and just drag it up as high as your boat as high as you want your boat to be so we're only going to do something a little bit smaller, so about there we'll do. And if you want, you can get rid of these. I'll just keep them for now, for ease. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the new um, pyramids and stuff here. And they're very useful for making a lot of uh, smooth holes. Because before, you had to uh, put a block gap and uh, it looked, it didn't really look too realistic but it worked for what we had with the one by one wedges and stuff but now we have this new new blocks and it's amazing so we want it to start off a bit stubby and then fade out uh, quite slim so we'll use the one by one still and just drag those down if you didn't know you can just drag uh, it's really easy and we'll do that a couple times we'll fill that in as well And this is going to uh, help to give it a streamlined look. We'll give it one more just for safe measure. And now we're going to make it start curving out a bit more. Because, like I was saying, we could just fill in blocks there and then have it come with just one back. Or we can use a 2x2. Two two. And if you notice, the 2x2 two two is actually... Um, the same as these two wedge blocks here so let's put a little block in there and we can put one in there and it's all flush and now you can see it's going to start getting slimmer and uh, I'm just going to drag that down to where we were before and we'll leave it there that'll be fine and we'll do that a couple times just like the one by ones which we had and now you can already see it's starting to look a lot better and that is awesome I'll go one more actually there we go and now we can um, do something else which is really cool same kind of concept here but we use a larger pyramid, so a 4x4 pyramid, which is actually just the same as four of these wedge blocks. So we'll do a little of this. Grab in a 4x4 and drag that down. And now it's looking very flush, very nice. Now if you're playing in survival, I don't know about the costs of these different blocks, but I do think these blocks cost as much as they take up, so uh, the price of one block I think is um, going to be the volume of blocks in this, so 16 blocks to make up that, So, but uh, I'm not sure about that. But now we have a problem at the bottom because we have a giant gap. Now you could just stop here and flatten it out like that, 
but we want it to look a bit more realistic so we're going to come in and we're going to use um, these one by two pyramids at the bottom for these shapes here because if you notice we have a perfect fit for these wedges on here and this can connect straight to our one by one so we're going to have to just come out like that and that's going to start rounding off the bottom and make it look more like a boat and we can do the same here, get a 1x4 we don't get 1x3's um, uh, just yet so it only goes up uh, 1, 2 and then 4 so so that's just what we got, so we might do that a couple times actually just to make it look uh, even smoother just continue in the same thing and once you know what you're doing and you can uh, identify where uh, things may fit then it's super easy because right here I can see that I need a wedge block because it can fit on there and it can also join up right here which is super convenient because then it's all flush and there's no uh, flat blocks or flat edges anywhere um, which give the shape away so I think that'll, that'll do for now and if I want I could go and do what we were doing earlier with these blocks down here to even shape it out even more um, I think I'll just leave it like that for now and just uh, flatten it out and that is a sharp little nose cone and if you wanted to make a steeper um, more like bulky uh, hole you could take these uh, one by two blocks and do the same thing with the one by ones except with these so you've got that now and then you can take inverse pyramid extend it on like that and the same thing right here but because this is too high we can use a two by four um, which is going to be a lot better than the four by four which is going to stick out a bunch so we can just use that and boom so and that's I haven't done that all the way but as you can see it's going to get a lot steeper as you go up uh, which is great I think I'll leave that like that uh, it might be a bit higher later on so it might rock a bit but that's fine and we'll just bring this a little bit. Ooh, that's a good idea. So I've noticed that we kind of have a very square shape. It does have some rounded edges, but it's looking pretty square. So what we can do is actually shave away a bit of our side here. So we can get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And now we have a smoother shape like that. And we can actually just come in here. Uh, actually, yeah, replace that, and then we can get a one by four straight wedge. Uh, no curves in this one. That's not what I wanted. This one, just a normal wedge, and that will fit in beautifully like that. And now it's looking instantly a lot better. So now we can just bring this out, set it to the length we want, set that. I'm not going to do anything too crazy for this, this video, just for time's sake. And we'll bring it out to about there for the main hole. Which is awesome. So if you can imagine this will be your top deck. And you can build a superstructure here. But this is going to be just flat at the back and we did some of this in the last video 
However, today we're going to be uh, kicking it up a notch and we're going to make a very nice smooth um, stern on the ship so you can fit all your propellers in and it'll be super cool. So we'll start off by, I like to work just from the uh, cross section of the boat uh, so I know actually how it's going to turn out. Well, with this I can just work from a uh, X plane like this, horizontal cross section. So we come back here and get some wedges and just match this up. That'd be super simple. I might bring this out a little bit into the center just so we get some more smooth edges. Actually, let's do it again. Take out one more. And then we'll just finish that off with our wedges like that. Now, it may not look as smooth at the back, but it'll work for what we're doing. And you can, there's obviously way more of the, that you can do than what I'm just uh, showing you guys here. You can, there's so many different holes I've seen. Just take a look on the workshop uh, for a few minutes and you should see amazing stuff on there. And so if you're ever looking for inspiration or ideas or uh, help, just look on the workshop. There's loads of stuff. People are very good at creating amazing things on here, so I'm just showing you the basics. So we'll just keep this going. Looking amazing. Like that. Now it's starting to gain some more length that it needed. Which is awesome. And we have a little problem here. We have a wedge doesn't quite fit that well but that can be uh, we can sort that out one way or another do you think we'll, uh, we'll leave that like that and then watch you make so I'm gonna just get rid of this for a second It's all about trying error guys. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. And we're gonna make this a little bit stubbier. And then we can just repeat with this. Let's take this, sh shave it off like that. It's going to look a lot better. And we can have some propellers coming out here later on. And a good tip for if you want to round stuff off, just decrease the size of your wedges um, and that's going to make the slope steeper which is cool okay just going to grab some more of these give it even more height instantly see that it's getting its shape now and it's still looking very smooth which is awesome she's gonna make this very round at the back I think that's uh, gonna look quite good Make it smoother. 
and then finish it off. So you can add that on and just keep going. I'm gonna just leave it like that for now. And grab something like that. Just to make it look cool. Now that is obviously not the best uh, stone I've ever made. But you can see where I'm going and that it leaves a lot of room for uh, different components and it obviously depends on what ship you're building if you're just building a random ship that you don't really care about it's fine to do whatever uh, you have that freedom but if you're making something like a warship or something warships uh, don't actually have an extremity of a stern like this they can just keep and go pretty much vertical um, and stuff if you're building a realistic like bolt carrier or something you may want a very large stern and a massive propeller um, but that's completely up to you you can do whatever you want with that so uh, it's all about just learning and the more you do it the better you get it simple as that just like if you want you don't even have to finish building boats just build holes I've seen a lot of just basic holes in the workshop that you guys can upload and just if you don't even want to build a hole just uh, go on the workshop and there's plenty that other people have made so yeah we'll just flatten that out to uh, allow it to float don't forget to put your weight blocks because right now this is very buoyant and very light so it's just gonna float over so we'll just give it some weight like that which is awesome. Let's see if I've made it too heavy. And no, that looks good. Could do being a bit lighter. And where most of your blocks are, the, the heavier it's going to be. So when you're um, waiting out your boat, like I'm doing here, let's consider that. So I might take off a few more at the front than uh, at the back. and just don't let any holes in your boat at all and uh, yeah so from here you can just add details like this I'm just doing this super quick but you can get a propeller shaft a propeller on it look how cool that is could do come back a bit I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> and then yeah, you can just add on your superstructure however you want, like that. And you're gonna have an awesome looking boat. So uh Yeah. That's gonna be really good. So uh I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you do have any queries or comments or anything you wanna ask, uh the comment section is always open. And I do uh take a look at those and uh, if you want more videos then uh, leave a like and subscribe and uh, have fun building your epic complex boat holes and uh, show off to your friends and uh, share this video so thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys next time